Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. Um, this is not the general reading. This is the mid-month, mid-September to mid-October love reading. The general readings will be coming out later this week. This is just a little extra reading that I like to do. Um, there is an extended available to this reading. Um, you certainly don't have to get it, but I like to offer um, the extended since this is an extra reading. So, um, in the past, we have been looking into your person's energy, the person that you're bringing into the reading. And so we're gonna do something different now. We're gonna actually look into your energy first and see what kind of advice spirit has for you in the relationship department with an oracle card. Then we will start to clarify with tarot and in the extended, we clarify even deeper with tarot and we look at the other person's energy with a different deck of cards. So it's a completely different reading. It's been really cool lately because like even the cancer reading that I just did using two decks of cards and um, the same cards came out. Like there was such mirroring energy. So you can tell when the energy is really, really strong between people because you use two different decks of cards and the same cards come out. It's pretty cool. So Leo... We have the Three of Wands, which is Take the Lead in this deck. I actually love this card. It's one of my favorites. So this is the Three of Wands. So <clears throat> in traditional tarot, the Three of Wands represents waiting for your ships to come in. Like you've made a decision to change your life, but now you're waiting for like to how to take the course of action. You know what I mean? So... It could be that you're waiting for somebody to show up in your life, um, or maybe you are just deciding to take a new direction in life, deciding to go a new way. So let's see what we get. Ooh, all right. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, this Capricorn seems sort of childlike, or dare I say childish. Um, there we go with the connection stuff again. So we have, let, I'll show you these cards so far. The Page of Pentacles and the Devil and the Two of Cups, and the Star. Two more cards. Whoa, all right. And the last two cards are the Hanged Man and the Four of Cups. So, and this is your energy. So I feel like even though you may have a connection with somebody, a very, sorry, my neck and shoulders just started hurting pretty, pretty bad. Um, even though you may have a pretty strong connection with somebody, it feels like it might either be karmic or it's with an earth sign that's sort of acting a little bit childish. Um, but then we have the star, the hanged man, and the four of cups. So if, you, if this is the past that you've been deal, you dealt with somebody like this and now you're looking off into a new direction, yes, you guys had a connection, but now you're healing. It feels like you might be healing and you don't really want anybody else to come into your life. I feel like this hanged man, four of cups and the star down here is saying you're trying to balance things out in your life um, and you may be on pause because of how you're trying to balance things out. You know what I mean? And the hanged man and the four of, like the hanged man is being on pause. I know it feels, I know it feels like you're stuck. You're, you're not stuck, but I know it feels like it. And the four of cups is, is the apathy card. Like that guy doesn't want even that gift from the universe. Like he doesn't want anything, you know? Um, so either you're dealing, and you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces as well. But I think that you're looking, you're trying to 
ignore what happened in the past so you can look to the future. Like you're trying to balance yourself, but you feel stuck in some way, shape, or form. And it's understandable to feel stuck, but I don't want you to stay in this paused state of mind or paused um, spot in your life for too long because I feel like it will be overbearing for you to do that. I think looking in a new direction is a really good idea right now, but um, actually act on, actually like go in that new direction. Don't just stand there and wait for your ships to come in. All right, guys. Um, so in the extended, we'll clarify this even more and we will look into the other person's energy. Um, if you haven't joined us for the meditation or Reiki healing circles, the next one is going to be for the Libra new moon, and we're actually going to do the full ritual together. All of that information is in the description box or on my website. Um, and personal readings. Um, I'm taking personal readings requests for one more week. We'll be scheduling in October. After this week, I'm not taking personal reading requests for a little bit, just because I need a, I need a break. <laughs> I need to pull myself back um, and take a break. So um, I, it's not going to be a long break, but it's going to be necessary. It's going to be needed. So I love you guys, and I will see you in the extended. Thank you so much for your support and for your love. Um, even if you don't get the extended, um, thank you for your support, for watching. Um, love you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye.